the Tomahawk Steak, the Prince of the Rum, the King of the Underground, the one thing served only to the cream of the cream, the What the Hell Steak. Yeah, that's what we're having here today and tonight. Tonight we're making history, motherfucker. This is not only going to be awesome, this is gonna be the best thing you ever cook in your entire life. This is the global peacemaker, the one we are looking for, the promised messiah that came to fill our mouth with ecstasy and delivery. I went too far? Okay, I'm sorry. Today we are cooking this thing a little bit different. This is just the beginning of an amazing Parmesan crust tomahawk steak, the best you ever had. But this is different to anything you've seen on TV. This baby is gonna be cooked with the crust on. For me, adding the crust to the steak after it's cooked is like taking a go to the movie theater. She will miss most of the movie. <laughs> Even though you know I'm a fan of the reverse sear method, this kind of steak cannot be done like that. We're gonna be doing this in the non-reverse sear method. Ah, you know what I mean, right? First thing I order is to season the steak with salt and pepper. A lot of salt and pepper. So much salt and pepper that it goes all around the board. Yes, because then we will roll the steak on the board so we can get every little millimeter of the surface of the steak with the seasoning. Now, this is looking gorgeous. So let's go to the sear. The searing is about two minutes per side and remember to get the grill raging hot before trying to sear and you should be good. Now the old flipper rule. Be careful because the whole thing here is real hot. Woo, look at that beauty. Ah, the idea of the sear is to caramelize the outside of the steak by what we call the Meyer effect. But remember, this meat is completely raw inside. We need to cook it. Now that we have it all ready, let it rest and get the Parmesan crust ready to go. The next part of the cook is gonna be indirect. That means if you have a Kamado grill, you have to add your diffuser, or if you're using a Weber, the next whole cook is gonna be on the cool side of the Weber, or if you're using your oven, heat it up at 250 degrees and get it ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna be cooking at 250 degrees, and for my metric friends, check it out here, so time down your grill or your fire or whatever it is to 250 degrees and let's get ready for the Parmesan crust. Now is when we get to make history, baby! For the crust we need one cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, one cup of panko bread crumbs, three tablespoons more or less of rosemary, three tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley, about three tablespoons of thyme, a handful of basil, six minced garlic cloves, Olive oil just to make a stick, salt and pepper. What we're looking is for a paste like this one. Something that will stick to the meat as we cook it. All right, now all we have to do is to apply it to the steak. We let the steak rest because we want this thing to cool off a little bit. Now apply it to the steak using your hands. Don't put it on the table to apply it because most of the crust will stick to the table. The best way is to use gloves, plastic gloves that are very non-sticky and apply the mix that way. Once it is all covered with the Parmesan crust, it is time to cook it again. How do you like it? Tell me about it. Are you in love with this crap already or not yet? All right, just put them in here without losing anything, please. Yeah! This baby, the grill is at 250 degrees for my metric friends down here. And we're just gonna drop it in there. We're gonna use the, the rack. We're gonna use this stuff. So we don't have to play around too much with it. We're just gonna put it in there and let it cook. This is gonna take about half an hour or so. I'm gonna put a thermometer into it just to know exactly when it gets to 120 degrees. We wanna take it out when it gets to 120 degrees and let it carry over all that temperature so we get that beautiful medium red colors inside. Well guys, it's time to take it out. It got to 120 degrees and look at this beauty. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful baby. Look at those colors. Ah, man, the smell on this thing is amazing. All we're gonna do now is we wanna tent it, loosely tent it with aluminum foil and let all that heat rise up to 130 degrees because we want this baby to be medium rare. Just like that, you know, if you need to tie it down, you tie it down, it's a tent and just put it on the side and let's continue. There is nothing that goes better with steaks than salad. 
Mashed potatoes? Besides mashed potatoes, there is nothing that goes better with steaks than salad. <coughs> Fries? We're gonna make salad. A beautiful salad, an amazing salad that you guys are gonna love. This salad here has nothing in particular to it. It's just a regular salad, but the dressing, the dressing does. This is gonna be my grandma's dressing. And I really hope you guys give it a try because you're gonna love it. First, olive oil. Good olive oil. Not the cheap one from the store. Then balsamic vinegar. Add half of the same amount of the oil you add before. Sea salt, pepper, and the secret ingredient. A tablespoon of sugar. Mix well and add it to the salad. Get in there with your hands, guys. You need to use your hands to move all this beautiful salad around, all right? Don't be picky. Oh, guys, the salad is ready. The steak is ready. Everything is ready. Let's discover this baby and see what finally happening here. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know the color is not the best, but I'm telling you this, guys, there is a crust in here that once you bite into it, there will be nothing better in the entire world and nothing that you would like to do more than this baby here. So it's time to cut it up and see what's up. Well, Miss Ninja, here we have your favorite steak. <laughs> Well, Miss Ninja, we have today a beautiful tomahawk. My favorite. With an uh -huh. awesome, awesome parmesan crust right on top. Mm -hmm. And Coco is loving it. And I have some beautiful salad here for you. Like, that I guess you're going to love. Always love my salad. Miss Ninja, let's give it a quick try. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm more than because ready. Because we have to move. Yeah, and Coco is going like that. My name is Coco. Coco, Coco, Coco. <laughs> Coco is going wild over there. He's hungry. All right, Miss Ninja, grab your, well, your poison right there. Mm. And let's give Yay. it a try. So you Miss Ninja can be honest with you and tell you what's up. Yeah, let's All do right. it. All right. Mm. It's so tender. That's the best thing I ever made. Beef jelly bean. How do you like it, Miss Ninja? I love it. Super Man. tender. Mm-hmm. This thing melts in your mouth. It's mm -hmm. beefy, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it has that little crust outside with all that Parmesan cheese and all that other stuff that brings a lot of flavor into it. You can feel the herbs flavors into the meat. Not only that, it brings it to a different level and it's a note of <laughs> like, ah. I mean, I know at the end, the cut of the crust was not the prettiest thing ever. I love it. But man, it tastes awesome. Coco. It tastes delicious. Look who's here. Oh my God. Look who's here! <laughs> Captain Ron! In the house! In the house, Captain Ron! You missed out, guys. You Captain Ron, out? tell me what's up. Tell me what's up, Captain Ron. Stop it. Oh, I just had a little bite of this, and it is delicious! It is delicious, guys! It is amazing! And sisters. Well, guys, let me tell you something, man. What? I had to ask you a question. Wow. I really had to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. But answer, because we asked you and I didn't know answers. Did I make you hungry? Did he? If we made you hungry, you had to hit us with the like. Lots of them. Subscribe to the channel, share with your Do friends so. and family. And don't forget to leave me a comment down mm -hmm. there. What do you think about this? I know the color was not the best. I'm accepting complaints because of the color. But besides that, this thing is delicious. Yes, this is. took this steak to the next level and beyond. This mm -hmm. thing is amazing. Is. That's all for today, but remember that... I love ya. Love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, Miss Ninja. I'm gonna eat all these things Bye. myself. <laughs>